Now, welcome aboard the X-15, the hardest plane to fly, in my opinion. To demonstrate that, let me just go ahead and start out this video with a takeoff. You know, one of the most simple flight procedures that you do in a plane, right? Let's just try that and see how that works in this plane. Okay, see, we are powering up and... I present to you the X-15, which doesn't fly at all. Actually, it cannot even take off from its zone. Yep, the North American X-15 built in the 1950s. It only had one purpose, and that is speed. Immense speed. In fact, it's sometimes called a hypersonic aircraft. Its top speed was 6.7 Mach, the current world record, you know, 1967, at an altitude of 100,000 feet by William J. Knight, a great, great aeronautical hero, of course. Yeah, this was actually the fastest plane on this planet, the X-15. Three of these were built, and they were built in a very specific way. I just almost knocked down my water bottle. Yep, for example, they had rocket engines. I mean, just how it sounds is beautiful. Doesn't this sound beautiful indeed? The wonderful sounds of a rocket engine. Actually, wait, this is actually working. Great. Ta yeah, this is actually another problem that this plane has. It, may it makes it hard to fly, and then it's the landing gear. Because it doesn't really have a landing gear, which is interesting for a plane to not have proper landing gear. That was a weird takeoff. Yeah, once we actually take a closer look to the plane, we only have this nose landing gear here, which is somewhat normal with a normal tire. But um, down here, we have more like um, feet, maybe even skis or something. What do you call these boots? It doesn't really matter. It is absolutely unusable of a landing gear. This is exactly why it actually cannot just take off on its own, as you could just see. It, it slides off the runway because it doesn't have proper landing gear. Because, of course, landing gear is very heavy, and that makes the plane very heavy if it had landing gear. And also, the I think, tires don't really go well with high speed and high altitude. So, they uh, just didn't really go for any landing gear, which is interesting. In fact, again, this plane couldn't take off on its own, so what they had to do is, um, well... <laughs> be carried by another aircraft. Yes, in fact, uh, in order to get this plane up into the air, they actually used the B-52 Stratofortress. <sighs> Quite a fortress indeed. I mean, it has eight engines. What the hell? Yeah, they attached the X-15 to this uh, B-52, and they brought the B-52 to high altitude. You know, turned on the engine here, and drop our plane. Actually, we can do that by pressing the space bar. I reckon uh, the flight simulator has crashed. All right, now spawn back into the flight simulator, and actually, we have <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool thing about the flight simulator. Well, this plane is absolutely useless because we cannot actually normally take off, but we cannot actually get this plane launched by another B-52 either. We can uh, just easily use cheats, cheat ourselves up into the air, and that's how we're able to get this plane actually off somehow. Okay, so there's no natural way to get this off. I mean, it's worked now. We are flying and uh, we're happily flying. Now we're introduced to the cockpit. And another problem, of course. Well, we cannot see anything that's in front of us. As you can tell, you <laughs> yeah, this windshield. Of course, this is also designed to be as fast as possible, as aerodynamic as possible. So that translates us to not see anything at all anymore. I mean, genuinely, this is so bad. I mean, they can really tell. They really made sure that this plane went fast, which it did after all. I mean, I mean, look, look at this very small wings here, very short, which does allow us to do one thing and one thing only, of course, and that is aileron rolls, of course. You know, the, with this kind of <laughs> wow, great. But that comes with a bit of a problem, and that is flying at low speeds. Flying at low speeds is probably impossible with this plane. <laughs> yeah, this is very much unstable. Actually, right now. Since, well, I mean, we can test it out right now. You know, if you are a little bit unsmooth with the controls of this plane, you immediately die. You're gonna di divert it into a spin. This is very unforgiving. Flying this plane kind of feels like balancing a pen on a finger. This is not a part. This is. Wait, actually. Pretty much like that. You really have to be super careful in order not to die. And so comes the interesting part, of course, and the hardest part, and that is landing the X-15. I mean, we've already talked about the landing gear being a problem for the takeoff. We don't even want to imagine it now how it is for the landing, let alone approaching an airport with this kind of plane. Of course, again, you have to be a little fast because of those wings that are only able to provide lift if you're very fast. But also, again, it's very unstable, and also, just touching down with this plane, I mean, literally, there's this black wing down there hangs further below than the actual landing gear that you have, so that means we're 
are we gonna trip to the side? Is it even gonna be possible to get this plane somewhat landed? Is this even- I mean, of course before starting to record this video, I tried this and I've never really made it. I mean, we can try landing this plane here. Of course, using outside view, because, duh, we can't even see anything from the inside. <laughs> yeah, great, it's coming for a landing. See how this is actually gonna go. Okay, a bit of a hard landing, but this should be possible. Guess what? It's not! I mean, we, to be fair, we- Oh, well, this has turned into a really bad thing. We did touch down kind of outside of the runway, but... We, we <laughs> immediately fell over. This is so bad. This just doesn't fly at all. My phone just dropped. Okay, let's come in for a landing. Let me really try to go really smoothly. I mean, maybe I'm starting to really figure out how this plane flies. And, you know, this is maybe- but Maybe this is gonna work just very smoothly. Okay, that's been acceptably hard. You know what I mean? You know what? This is impossible to land. This is not working at all. <sighs> no chance. I mean, come on, to my eye, this was a per perfectly normal landing. Not hard, not smooth. Just very much in the middle. Maybe a bit of a hard touch, but this is <laughs> just normal. Look, we just died. This is not how... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looked good in the beginning, but then we just turned around and died. Again, just falling over, hitting this taxiway sign. This is not good at all. How? I mean, I'm just kind of hoping that this is just kind of a weird bug in the flight simulator that the landing gear doesn't even stick out further than the wing of the, the tail. This doesn't make any sense. This plane is doomed to not be able to land. What the I mean, look at- we can't even look what's in front of us. Oh, man. I do kind of like the X-15. Of course, it is just a very quick plane. That's all we've got to say. It has a rocket engine, okay? It doesn't fly very well. Or in fact, it doesn't fly at all. Here, at least in the flight simulator, it's, it doesn't fly. Anyone that's going on here is dying. Okay. Oh, that's not worked. That's that's not worked. No. No way. I mean, I think I've now mentioned every point about why this plane is absolutely impossible to fly. In fact, it's the hardest plane to fly. A lot of people say it's the U-2 because of the bad handling. But the U-2 is like a Cessna 172 against this. Very forgiving, and this is not forgiving at all. Actually, wait. Guys, we're not skidding along. We're not skidding along for the first... Now we are, actually. Yeah. It took a while to skid. It took a while to skip. I mean, generally, I've, I, I've flown this plane a lot before this video, and I tried landing it, and it never worked. Even on the butteriest of the butteriest landing, it doesn't properly work. Yeah, maybe that's the flight simulator, actually. Cannot be me, right? So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Thank you to all my members here on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Oh Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No You, no, Larry Deslama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Cherrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.